Last April, I joined the Iraqi Special Forces Golden Division as they fought Islamic State in West Mosul. The old city is home to deeply embedded ISIS fighters who hold an estimated 200,000 civilians hostage with car bombs and gunfights. It is an impossible situation for the U.S.-led coalition, one that offers little hope for the people of Mosul. These drawings, I believe, are the first of this conflict and address some of the more common scenes while the war continues, from the liberated areas to the front line, the destroyed streets, the camps for internally displaced people, and the ISIS screening centers. Facebook Twitter Pinterest Abdul Khalik and his daughter, an English teacher from Zumar, 20 kilometers west of Mosul, Abdul Khalik fled his home after ISIS killed his father in front of him in 2015. He lives in the Hammam al Alil camp with his wife and daughter. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Mustafa Ltae, just ask for Mustafa Ltae, is the advice from a local shopkeeper, which we do, and are directed straight to his house in Hammam al Alil. Mustafa is a locally well-known artist who throughout the ISIS occupation of Hammam al Alil drew the atrocities he witnessed. He describes how he finds drawing a therapy, and how he can't stop doing it. Piled in the corner are dozens of these drawings, people with their heads cut off, soldiers hung upside down on barbed wire. When ISIS discovered Mustafa was drawing an activity that is harem, forbidden, he was beaten. Now he exhibits his work in the town, a reminder of the horrific occupation. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest clearing rubble from home in Hay al Thara. In March, four ISIS fighters fled under fire from the Iraqi security forces and took shelter in Tayyad Bolhamid's family home. The U.S. airstrike was called in, and the four missiles killed everybody in the house, including the fighters, Hamid's mother, two of his brothers and his sister-in-law. Today, a month later, he is clearing the rubble away from his home to see if there is anything left. This is, sadly, an all too common sight in Mosul. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, male refugee screening tent 10 kilometers. South of West Mosul on the Baghdad Road is a collection point for refugees. Some 4,000 men a day are dropped off here in open top trucks. Their names are put through a system to check if they belong to ISIS or not. Of course, this system isn't foolproof. It has been compiled during a confused war. Informants and local police have their own agendas, and many people will be wrongly accused. Equally, many slip through the net. Alligator, a young Special Forces soldier who refuses to give his real name, tells me that between 30 to 40 supposed ISIS members are caught here each day. And, by the sound of the beatings going on round the corner, and the young men being loaded into a truck, T-shirts over their heads, that is easy to believe. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, General Abdul Waqsab. Al-Saudi Special Forces under General Abdul Wahab Al-Saudi fight from the rooftop on the front line in West Mosul. Their job is to locate ISIS positions and then call in the U.S. airstrikes, which have had such a huge, but controversial, impact on the outcome of the conflict in Mosul. Facebook, Twitter. Pinterest Suleiman Awad Murray born in 1942, Murray recently suffered a heart attack in his new home, an unofficial camp in Halil Alilil. He is 80 kilometers from his home in Zumar, from where he and his family fled. He has not eaten or drunk for five days and he will most likely die here. His wife, Im Sarah, OFAN Jumi, explains their desperate situation, tell the world we want to go back, we don't have a good life here, 